Hello and welcome to the SMOS SMOS Zachary 3 TV. We are here at the Indianapolis GP 20 laps here in this Xfinity series. I think it's a little long, but I kind of want to make it interesting. Um, hopefully it's not a wreck fest. Uh, we know last season I think it had some decent racing, so hopefully that uh, repeats itself. And your points leader just extended that points lead a little bit. Um, with a pole here, so they currently have a 22 point lead over Brock Nelson, who I don't see in the frames right now, but it's a long race, we'll get to that later probably, don't want to get too much out of the way, but, um, have we got Reggie Fogelman with us, you got any, uh, first thoughts for this? No, I don't. No, oh, no. Oh. Payson Avery, making a second place start here, uh, has had a rough start to the season, he's 16th in standing, so we'll see how he does. Caden Williams... Uh, he has two cup wins, third and third. Sills Wilmot in fourth, and then fifth place is Nimrod. You can barely see that car, but um, there it is right there. And right next to Azrael Dreamer, who's had actually very well, very good season at 75 in terms of starting positions. Hasn't really quite had the um, finishes to show for it, hence why they're 25th in standings. Uh, Sustra, or, uh, Wilmot in the 88, also kind of the same deal. They've had really good runs, just haven't had the finishes to show for him. And Brock Nelson just outside of the top five, so kind of started a little late, but nonetheless, not really a lot to go over. This is, I think, race eight. I'm not sure, but we'll let that go through and uh, we're going to get the command for the engines. Drivers, start your engines! Command has been given. And this is race eight. I was correct, so. 20 laps around this track, hopefully mostly under green. And hopefully we didn't have anything like we did at Dodge Motordrome <laughs> in Cup where the pace car has an aneurysm and decides to go inside the wall crash our game. Remember we have our ticker now, so if anything goofy happens to cause the game to crash, we'll wrap them back up where they were and get started again. get this thing going come one more corner yeah Reggie you want to call the green yeah I can all right you know the deal whenever they start going pretty quick a little mile power thing I think green 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 flag in the air here at Indianapolis GP let's hope they can make it through turn one alive Big block there. I say no. <laughs> and Nimrod almost sends it in deep. That's going to allow Pace. Nail. Oh, the 88 is still Wilmot. Moved out the way there. Nimrod still on the aggression side there for second. I'm going to check our chat make sure. I'm going to go off the chat, see if that starts flashing before we start throwing any yellows. I am doing manual yellows since it is a road course. Don't want it to be a caution fest. Nimrod comes out second, Avery comes out first, Pulsitter is third, Williams fourth, fifth is Wilmot, sixth, uh, Alex Invidiel, who's also had a, uh, uh Alex Invital, I'm uh, pronouncing it obvi horribly wrong, but, again, another car that's had really good runs this season, hasn't, he isn't quite shown for it in the standings right now, so real Drummer getting challenged by second place in standings, Brock Nelson. Block. Dreamer does not have it. Is not having it. Tries to move him back out the way, but unfortunately, the 51 is clear now. It's going to allow the 90 of uh, Matthew Hill make a position there. Oh, big crash! 51. That's a caution. Big crash. The 51 of Brock Nelson has crashed hard in the turn one exit. I've seen some other cars back there as well spinning out the 94 as well. 
better quit rewinding here. We can get to the 94. Alex Tanker. <laughs> We're talking about that uh, small chance of... Ooh, looks like uh, Brock and... Or not Brock, but Brandon and Tanker got together. For this, we'll have to go helicopter. This is after Brock Nelson had his heavy hit. Yeah, I just got into him. Two car crash there. Tanker. I don't believe he got hit by anybody. Ooh, a lot of close calls there, but... Ooh, shit! Yeah, nothing bad. But Brock Nelson, heavy crash for him. Second in standings. Um, well, Reggie, I know he said that there was a very slim chance that would become a problem. It has on lap one. We'll have to get a look at this from the POV of the... No, I said there was going to be a regular lap one. <laughs> well, I didn't think it would be that one. Well, let's look at it from Pox Cozart's POV. Yeah, hit that uh thing in the wall. Go on your top board. That Shot on him board. out. The amount of G's that you stopped on the wall too. They hit Zach, that. Zach, go wall. back. Zach, go back. Go back on the cam you were just on. It's that little crack in between the walls. Right there. It's that crack in that wall. Yep. The airborne. Let's look at the roof. The roof came in the 90. Oh boy. What a POV. That is a nasty wreck. It's the crack in the wall is what it is. It's like it's sticking out a little bit. Hello. <laughs> Somehow didn't make contact. Now it did make contact with the 75, but that's uh, that's uh, uh that's something that weird. Then we've seen Tanker and uh, Brandon Nelson get together, so that's something. We go back live. Let's go back to live. This is where Matthew Hill is currently in seventh. Pace car is ahead. Pace and Avery. Teammate with David Don. Looking at first a uh, few laps of his career. Like we said, uh, he's had a pretty decent season so far. Hasn't quite had the results show for it, but let's take a look at the DNF list. As it looks like only the 51 out of the race after that. In fact, you're not live yet. No, we're live. It says live on the on the oh. thing. I'm gonna go ahead and go you're green blinking. next time. Bye. Regardless of you're blinking, cars. Zach. Zach, your chat was blinking. Uh, while well, we're yeah. We're already under yellow, so it doesn't matter. Wrong green this time. And Pace and Avery, your leader. Second is Nimrod. Third, Caden Williams. Let's go ahead and pull up my standings here. I know we got the ticker going as well, but... Um, Sam Oskin, points leader, who... Uh, it looked like the 51 was going to stay up here, maybe have a shot at that, but we all see what happened there on lap one. And then... The 88 at Silas Wilmot started outside pole, or no, started fourth, lost one spot so far. Alex and Vittle, sixth, seventh place, Matthew Hill with a decent run. Ezreal Jimmer in eighth, ninth place, Pox Gozar, and then the 66, Mark Lennart also appears. So consistent, we're starting to see a lot more consistency with these drivers, especially with this new rating system, so keeps it realistic. Consistent, but not Max Verstappen level winning every week kind of consistent, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hopefully, I know um, hopefully I that know little, doing... hopefully that crack on the wall thing is a one and done thing. I uh, didn't know we were doing the rated system. <laughs> I, put, I said it in the Discord like three months ago. or Actually, longer ago than that, like four months what ago. What we both do? Do a, a, a form for every week? No, 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 no. It's basically like how it is. is everyone's ratings are the same still but i changed them to where it's a max of 90 on everything and a minimum of i think it was 80 on everything i was not about to say i wouldn't know where well, i wouldn't alert of that god damn yeah everyone's ratings are exactly the same it's just a little more more varied from like the numbers in everyone's ratings they're all still the same for everybody it's just the ratings themselves are different yeah, hopefully that wall stick out thing is a one and done issue. I uh, would hate to have that happen to anyone else. But I, I really think it's a weather thing because uh, someone's already 
Why, okay. That, that's a yellow. What happened? I was doing They're that. already dead. What, did you hit the wall again? I hope not. <laughs> Because if so, I don't really know. There's nothing I can do at this specific point to fix Yeah, that's what happened. There's nothing I can do right now to fix it either, which is the rough thing. Uh... We just got to deal with it for 20 laps. Uh, 63 also involved. Good boy. Yeah, it's just like a... Like, uh, every once in a while you see a car hitting that, but right now we got a race to the yellow, so at least we have that. Pace every, I believe, still leading that race right now. Uh, where the heck did Nimrod go? Uh, I just really didn't get a good start there. Same Oscar up to third again. I imagine you that one hit the wall. Yeah, two car. I don't think anyone else hit the wall, but at this point I am a little worried. Uh,. Now no one's hitting the wall. That's convenient. Did you say that no one's hitting the game? Yeah, I don't make any sense. Off cue, well, on cue, then you're not gonna hit it. When you say it off cue, they're gonna hit the damn thing. Oh boy. Well, we're in for, <laughs> well, we're in for a fun one. So, three cars now, they're race 63, 58, 51. 58 did not need that. They were 13th in points. 63 was also doing well in points. A lot of good cars, not just getting a lot of not so good finishes here. I'm gonna go green this pie this time. There, it's not gonna let me do it. Do it now? It's not gonna let Are me pace minus at this point because it's the first lap under yellow. So, uh, we'll probably go green next time, regardless. What do you so, mean the first one? We had one. We had a caution a while ago. Yeah, I, I know, like, it, it's, it'd be the like, first lap of the caution that we have this time. So, top five changes, I, I top ten thing, changes, I think there's plenty of them. Pox is up to six now, Hill's up to fifth. Wilmot lost a couple spots. Quadruped up here in the top ten. I know it's saying it's, as, as I said, I'm surprised, but they've actually not really had a good season this year. They've, uh, second to last is things right now, not, not, really not a good season for them, and then... Alex and Vittle and uh, Ezreal Dreamer still holding on in the top 10. That good start. And I uh, just just don't hit that uh, exit wall and you'll be fine. But cars are hitting that exit wall. So now I'm super suspicious about it. Um, oh. I just, I'm hoping to get this pacing right and no one hits it. It was like it's usually it was only one car twice. And I know how to if we go back here I just know I'll have to remember well let's put the weather back what we had in twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three um instead of what we have here to prevent the issue from reoccurring. But uh what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go for car to car and on the restart, just make sure we go back to every car and make sure everyone makes it through all right. And then if we can get some laps in, uh, we should be going to the end, hopefully. Pace Neighbor is only a few laps away from locking in those laps led, which is a 10 point bonus. You could definitely use that. We're going right back to yellow. Going green this time. Hopefully staying green.
unfortunately every crash you've had on that outside wall has resulted in a catastrophic flip or I wouldn't say flip but airtime which is enough to warrant a yellow I think hopefully we don't have any more of those Well, everyone made it through. Well, I'm going through what? Yeah, that's going to give, uh, what's his face, a big lead here. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, almost every time I'm looking or not, every time I'm looking, nothing happens. But when I'm not looking, that's when they, that's when they do something stupid. Caden Williams has gotten around Nimrod. Nimrod lost two spots in that start, I think. So I won't I'd... say they're not going to make a lap. They're going to hit that wall again. As much as I want to say you're wrong, as much as I'm hoping you're wrong, mm -hmm. yeah, you're probably right. I'm just going to look at that chat. Nimrod, once again, trying to challenge for third here. Pace Neighbor clearly has a faster car in that 91. Or maybe they just had really good rocket restart. Uh, I don't know if Oscan's going to catch him or not. Austin has the opportunity to get a second win here today. They're definitely looking really good in the standings after this, regardless where they finish. All right. Real talk. Side by side here is a concern. Hopefully these guys learn to let off a little bit instead of hit the wall. Looks like it. Nope. I'm not seeing chat button yet. A lot of cars getting close to that wall in the back. No one wrecked, so I think we made it through. And chat button isn't blinking either, so it should be good. I think everyone learned their lesson. I think it was a two and done. Hopefully. Nimrod still trying to challenge for that third spot again. Trying to get it back. Caden Williams, the 25. What happened to King? Uh, what happened to his sponsor? He lost it? He didn't tell me what sponsor he wanted, so. Yeah. That's the car he gets. Nimrod got a little loose there on the whatever corner they call that, but regains the time here. Fortunately, he doesn't get enough run to go for a uh, overtake. Oh, here they go. They're going to try to do an overtake here. And it looks like they might be successful. Yep, Nimrod's going to be successful in getting the pass. The question is, is anyone going to hit the wall? Yeah! Well, they hit the wall, but they didn't die, so... Okay. Went out of the race. Everyone else just off pace. 94, obviously off pace. Ooh, blocking there for the 29. This is for third. Second and first have a long gone at this point. Oskin and uh, Avery. So this battle here for third, really just picking up these two. I think the 25 is faster in the f first part of the track, whereas the 29 is quicker at the later half of the track. But fortunately, at 25, I think it's losing a little bit of run here. Lost a lot of speed off that corner. Might be all she wrote for Caden Williams right now. See that 25 is trying to get as much time as they can on the track. Looks like uh, Matthew Hill tried to do something there with him. Count Matthew Hill out of this. He may try to get a run on the 25 here in the back. But uh, yeah, look at that time gain or breaking for that 90. Definitely, definitely a big gain there. See if they can keep that gain going. And it's official. Uh, Pace and Avery will get points for most laps led. This looks like we got a pass for somewhere there. 
the Pox Cozart trying to, or one of these two, I don't know who's trying to pass who, but one of the, we got a battle here for, I believe that's sixth. Might be seventh. Oh, 88, get a little loose, gets in the grass. That's going to allow Potato Boy to catch up. And that's, that was the battle for six, and it looks like uh, Pox Cozart the winning of that side. Potato Boy now under fire from the 98. After, the, after they were not able to get around the 88. Equal on exit. This is going to be an interesting end of that next corner, I think. 99 with a little bit of an edge. Might be enough to clear here. Depends on who sends it in deeper. Nope. Sends it in deep again. Look at that. Oh. Try to undercut. Might work here. 99 keeps the spot. See if they can get any time under breaking or all. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. They're going to try to outbreak him. He uh, got a little, little tight there. Oh, got him pinned. I left. Every time we've seen this move uh, happen, we've it's worked. And it looks like Alex and Vittle is going to be able to make that pass for, I believe, seventh. Got Azrael Dreamer in the 75 under attack, or might be attacking or under attack from the 6, or the 06 rather, and it looks like they back out, and that was um, under attack from 06, but 99 is not done with the 98, they're still battling. Doesn't quite get the run on exit, so it looks like the 98 is going to keep the spot. See if there's any cars close up front. Uh, the battle for the lead might be heating up. I'm going to say might be. Yeah, no, I don't think it's really as close as I was thinking it would be. It's 25 Caden Williams, no, he was close to the 90 there for a bit. 90's still behind him, so I don't expect that gap's about to stay the same, probably. So, uh, top 10 uh, right now looks pretty solid at this point. It's going to be hard to shake these cars up here. These little weaknesses, these guys trying to get around each other. It's a battle for 10th. Oh, 46 in the wall. That's a caution. We're going to pause our game and go to our pace car and turn on the, uh, our uh, turn my checkers just in case. And the 46 of Craig Pockers, Noah Clifton, Riley Gorse. Genghis Khan, Batana, Cooper, Chef Squid, maybe Sue Stray. I don't know if he's involved or not, but let's see what happened here. This was just when we thought we've gotten these uh, issues. Oh my gosh, parking lot off the corner. Ah, we'll have to go to the helicopter to get a decent idea. We'll go slow mo as well. So, 46 in the one, side by side. This is for, I think, 17th or 18th. Just inside the top 20. Yeah, he sent it in too deep. Got wide. Yeah, yeah same thing all race, yeah. That wall. Boom. Right in front of the 1. And the 15. Nasty wrecks. Both of them flipping down the straight. Awful. We got TV one view of it here in a minute. First, I don't know anybody here, man. Yeah, this is a parking lot down the front stretch, so cars are plowing in, nowhere to go. And then there's cars in the back. I know that I'm trying to slow up for I think the 16 and the 71 were a couple of them trying to Six. change their way around it, and they may have hit the wall too. I don't Six. know. Here comes the... 71. 71 plows into it. 
and the 07, that a 71, the 37. 37. When there's cars stopped, you do the same. You don't plow in. The five was involved. There was a few cars here just unneedingly involved in it. 45 styles. That's unfortunate. What about Kyler? I seen Kyler earlier. I seen him in. I'm not sure if he was involved in that or not, but it looked like he had some damage. Uh, he stuck it three wide, trying to steal some spots there. Eric was, was involved. I don't think he was involved, but something to take note of. No full speed here. Yeah, I don't think he was really involved. Let's go to the 46 TV1. I know it's kind of hard to see from TV1, but we'll go to it regardless. Porn doesn't have a really good camera, so let's do with what we got. I was right on board with him. Okay. Yep, that little crack in that wall. Go with the camera. That's two of them. That's three cars tonight that have just launched into that wall. Caused massive wrecks. 54 probably didn't get a lot of damage, but good on them for slowing up as much as they did for that wreck. Car that narrowly avoided the, well, I say narrowly, but position wise was able to avoid this as double zero. We're building the Zalas, but I think he hit that wall as well. So let's go to the pace car. We are still pacing Avery. At this point, we could have overtime. That is, that is on the, that's on the, it's on the playbooks, so. Bid road course, only five laps to go. There will not be any D or DQs for speed, so. Everyone should be good on that, unless you're going like... We're going green this time, I read that. It looks like it. I did. It is not of my doing either, but it looks like we are going green this time. So, that one took out... Uh, the 94 has only been out of the race. I'm not sure if he was involved in that or not. The 16 is out. The 71, 46, 37, 15 is Chef Squid, and the 1. I think the 30 and the 22 are still in it, both the K&K cars. And the 99, also K&K cars still inside the top 10. And, uh... Observe to base car. It uh, looks like we are going green this time. So, once again, just going to go through and make sure no one hits the wall again. And hope that doesn't become a recurring issue. I had a feeling it would be with old tires, but eh. Oh, 17 going to hit it. Yeah. Right. I, I knew the 17 was going to hit it. Second. Effort. The second he hit it. Yeah. He good, he good, Zach, Zach. He good, he good, he good. He good, good but he... It caused a big wreck, so I have to throw it. Yeah, but he went and He's already on pay road. Rule is, flip or... Uh, caution hazard and... Sure as heck, I'm pretty sure he flipped. Yeah, all four tires off the ground. Yeah, we're just getting wide out the corner. He's the only one involved in that, by the way. Yeah, yeah thankfully the 45 was able to avoid, but yeah, his day's done. 16? Oh yeah, he was involved in that wreck anyway, so he's no worries. Racing back, I think the 91 still got it at this point. Yeah, no one's showing anything for him yet. Unless 57 got by or got passed. And it looks like 57 actually got past my Nimrod. So, Nimrod back in second. No, he's showing him in second. Right now it is, because they haven't crossed the line yet. I don't think those cars are going to be on pace enough to hit the wall. Oh yeah, they lost.
lost some time due to the pace in the 30. Uh, a little late out of pit road with the damage, but they're still in it. That'll probably be one of our uh, short yellows, so we'll go green once it'll let us go green. Everyone's still on the lead lap from what I understand as well. But that one I imagine only took out the 17, yeah, only two, yeah, so 28's still running. So keep in mind for if, when we run here again, if we run here again, at this rate. Or as you was talking about Coda, that's sounding a little bit nicer than this right now. But, uh... That being said, uh, probably going to do the weather like we did in 2023 to avoid this issue reoccurring. Boom. Need be. We'll do overtime, and then, uh... For that, I think we have unlimited attempts. Oh, never mind. Pace car already had the right idea. It looks like uh, Sustre might be pitting. Reason being, I'm guessing, uh, strategy? It looks, like it looks like they're just topping off on gas, maybe. They're thinking we might get some overtime, so this might not be a bad strap for Sue Stray. We'll see how that ends up for him. Yeah, that 30 car is so off pace, they can't even catch the field. In fact, uh, it looks like their car may already be coming to a stop. Um... Yeah, it's all good for this 30 of Cooper. Hey, actually, Smoth goes to Coda in 13, 12 weeks. Ah, well, convenient enough. There you go. Race 20, they go to Coda. 12 weeks or 12 races, because uh, I haven't been doing this week to week like I have been. I don't know. I'm not I'm saying I'm going to go back to doing that either. And Cubs got it for the finale in race 40, Coda. <laughs> it's actually crazy. I can't believe they voted for Coda as the season finale. But, I mean, it's not a championship for her, so I guess if any race to end it, it might as well be a road course. Yeah, well, we got a road course right before that. We got Line Rock. And then we got the last three races are Chicago Street Course, Line Rock, and Coda for the Cup. Hey, y'all are some crazy people looking for that. That's all I'll <laughs> say. If y'all want to record the end of the season, so be it. <laughs> Not just one, there's three of them for this. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's make sure it feels good. Make sure no Let's one's see. running wide. We're probably not going to see it till, yep, yeah, right here in the pack. Oh, 23. They avoided it. Oh, five got it. That's going to be overtime. Oh, 57 may have a challenge for the lead here. Hold on a second. We may have a challenge for the lead late in this race. Let's see. We have one. We have two. We have three. And we have same four. as Oskin. Gonna take the lead. Let's take a look and see what happened that caused that wreck. Brandon Nelson. His day's hey, done. Zach, Zach, you wanna know something? What? We have one super speedway for for playoffs. We have one chip chat for the playoffs. We have two two short tracks, one super media in the and no, two super mediates, two, two supers, two intermediates, and we have six road courses in the playoffs. Well, we don't have playoffs. I know, but I'm talking about that's what the last six races, the last ten races of the season are. 
Sam Oz can get to lead us back to the. Uh, he's going to be our leader now. Looks like uh, Mark Lennard. Never mind. I thought he was going to the wall. Oh, 54 of uh, Skyler Taylor and 93 of. Um, Tufty Terror involved there. Yeah. So we have Coda, Lime Rock, Chicago Street Gores, Talladega Road Gores. We have Pockers uh, Motorsports Park. Pockers Motorsports have, Park? Yeah. Pockers, yeah. Pockers. Motorsports Park. I'm going to have to look and then we have Miami Road Course. The him, I mean the Homestead Road Course, and we have the Denver Road Course in in the uh, in the playoff in the last ten races. Well, it looks like uh, Pace Nabry has fallen back to third. Pox Kozar has taken second, and uh, your pole sitter, Tim Oskin, is taking the lead. Now, one thing to note here. I did not keep in mind overtime laps when I said that Pace and Avery had officially led the most laps. However, he led all but the last two of that run. So he's led, I think, 18, 19 laps this race. And, uh... That We're being racing said, back to Austin, right? Yes. So, because of overtime, I'm not going to be Pace minusing. We're just going to let the normal caution rules roll through. So that pace car doesn't give us any issues with our overtime. So I want to say it's our first overtime of the season in Smos, but yeah, check me if I'm wrong. Unfortunately, just all because of uh, you know, bad choice of weather. <laughs> Wait, did you put on a concert? Because they're racing again. Mm -hmm. No. They're still racing. I thought you said you brought the concert out. Gosh, I uh, thought I did. Did I not? No, I don't the think you did. Here. Pace car is all the way, uh, oh, they're trying to catch up to the pace car as lights are already off. I'm about, I was about to say, they're racing. Did you put the caution on? No, they're trying to catch up to the pace car. They're going pace speed. It might be a little weird for overtime. I have to do some clearing of some black flags here. Just to be safe. Because... Pace car might do some funnies here. And I, I'd hate for some people to get screwed over for it, especially like Sam Oskin, Pox Kozar, Avery, Hill. Cars would probably usually be the victim of that. Pace car is in. So we're going green at the line. Keep our little things on just in case. There's really no way to know if they're going to get a yellow or not, so I'm just going to clear black number 57 just to be safe. Two laps, hopefully, we finish under green. 93 is going to go to pit road with that damage they have. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to finish, well, finish the race or not, but... Like everyone made it through that time. Just be safe. All right. Yeah. None of these guys are serving a penalty. So green to the end, regardless. Is there any caution? Well, um, at this point, it looks like the uh, 93 is out of pit road, so they're gonna finish lap down likely. Uh, I would give him a free pass, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Where's a 93 on the board? Weird how they're being scored right now. I don't see him on the board. Unless they called it a No, no, they, they called it a day. That's why they're not in the pits anymore. Oh, well. So, we're going to have 25 cars finished. Eh, I've seen worse. The same as Oskin after starting pull. Uh, lost some spots in the beginning. Regained it late on a late race restart. Pace over he's fallen back, I think, to third. He may have already he may have fallen back more than that. Uh, he's actually fallen back to fourth, potentially fifth here as we come to the white. And regardless, this thing's gonna end under 
checkered flag. Regardless who wrecks or who doesn't. Big crash in the back. It's the 45 and the 23. Same Oskin leads him to the white. Fortunately, Ian Stiles and Quadruped are done for the day. So is Angie Johnson. Oh, did it hit the wall? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh. 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 And oh. Okay, that... that <laughs> alrighty. <laughs> I'm just gonna blame the AI Let's on that. Out. Yeah. Regardless, this thing is in or yellow anyway, but... I'm gonna laugh if the leader hits the wall and let oh, coming off. I would, I would I'd be dead inside. So it looks like uh, it's going to be 23 cars finishing the race as the, uh, or no, not 23, but 22 cars finishing the race as the 40, no, 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 it's 23. It's 24 and the 45 and the 23 have all, I'm sure they're not going to try to finish this thing. Hold on, Pox Kozar has got to run here. I don't think he's got enough with it, but hold on. Ah, I didn't quite get outside. Outside would have, would have been all she wrote, but unfortunately didn't quite have enough run. Here we go. Let's see if they can finish this thing off. without hitting the wall. Oskin gets through. He is your winner here in Indianapolis after... Oh, Potato Boy's oh, dead. Oh, who was that? Potato Boy. Oh, gosh. A park racetrack. A parking lot. Uh, yikes. I'm gonna have to do some uh, manipulation on Williams, the scores there, right in front of Caden Williams, Williams and Williams and Pedderboy. Else, uh, uh, this is we haven't had issues here before, and that's purely because of weather. So, where's Styles? Oh, he wrecked. La he wrecked the lap before that. Yep, he did. He wrecked coming to the white. Hence why we didn't go into yellow. Oh shit. So this this isn't a bad track, it's just bad setup. Yeah, go back to the last lap and see what happens. Well we know what happened uh, the ninety nine. And the ninety nine missed the corner and twenty five got the worst of it. Somewhere he got around the twenty five. For sixth. I go around 25 here for six, and then then miss the corner. Did the and... other car, did they be able to pass in to go to the line? I'm not sure, but um, we can see you just had to keep it to make sure it. results are good. So all these guys broke, oh, except for the 98. Okay, yeah, I'll cross the line, so we'll let that slide. Unfortunately, that's that's just going to be a DNF for 99 and. Uh, 25. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that was rough. Um, well, just a reminder, next time we go to this track, remind me to make sure I have the weather set to what we had it in 2023. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you all any longer. Thanks for watching. We will see you all next race.